Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is AJ. This is 52 Untucked. And that's my best half, Haley. Uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, we have a lot of hair missing mm -hmm. between the two of us. Uh, just got some haircuts. Uh, on today's episode, we are going to be uh, reviewing the Theory 11 Gold Artisan deck. Ooh. Now, I have the regular artisans <laughs> and I have the white artisans. White artisans are some of my favorite cards they of all are. time. Love those cards. Love uh, this, there's been a lot of hype about these ones, the gold ones going around. People are having a tough time finding them. People really want these cards. These were gifted to me by my buddy Paul. Thank you so much. He sent these to me so I could review them and give them away. You guys also obliterated the like uh, goal. Great job. Over 50 likes on the shadow print, uh, the tough luck artist print shadow edition. You got there. It's hard to do. Uh, <laughs> you guys definitely destroyed it. Um, not so much with the red gator backs. That's only at about 20 likes right now. So again, okay. 35 likes for that. Yeah, away. 35 likes for that video and you'll get it. So we're going to keep going with that trend. Um, spe super special decks are going to have a higher, um, goal. These normal decks for giving away are going to be just the 35 like goal. So 35 likes on this video and you can receive these gold artisans by theory 11 Ooh. absolutely free. So we'll keep it low for those. And <laughs> then so for, I'm very then away right for very special decks, uh, we'll do higher, uh, higher like counts for those. But yeah, 35 likes and you guys can win this deck. Um, also going on, rules will be in the description for this giveaway all month long because we hit 100 subscribers. We're, we're up to, there, yeah, too. we're up to 153 at this point. Um, we will be giving away this limited edition King's Wild Project uh, Sherlock Holmes deck. Rules will be down in the description for that. Um, so, without really doing anything else, we're going to get into this review. Bam! Here it is, guys. My review of the Theory 11 Gold Artisan deck. Um, I mean, it's, it's an artisan deck. So, it says Gold Edition right here with some fancy lines. It is embossed. As Theory 11 does, the tuck feels super sturdy. The Guild of Artisans, Theory 11, the U.S. Playing Card Company. And then you have the back design here. I love this deck. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite decks is the uh, Golden Ivory, the White Artisans. So, I mean, this tuck is definitely, for me, a 5 out of 5. It is elegant. It is beautiful. A lot of thought and work went into this. However, they need to make cheaper seals. But we're going to break right into this bad boy. So 5 out of 5 inside. Look at this. Gold little flakes. Hmm. Spared no expense. All right. We'll get these over here for you. Let's take out these extra cards. You have the Jokers. And you have a couple ad cards here. Doesn't look like, yeah, they don't give you anything else. So, back design, very shy. I don't remember the other artisans having this reflective sheen to it. I actually really like this a lot. Now, again, it's the same back design as the other artisans, which I am a fan of. You have the Theory 11 here. You have the Guild of Artisans here, the G of A, and all this. And just this fancy artwork here. I love this back design. It doesn't look too suspicious. It's not a marked deck, but it doesn't draw attention to the back design, really. Uh, I love this gold shine they put on it. Five out of five. That's my first instinct. Five out of five. This is beautiful. All right, to the faces. Uh, look at this. They even put it on the ace right here. They put the foil on the ace. Gold edition. I love it. Uh, pretty standard cards, if I remember correctly. Yeah. 100% standard deck face. A little darker red on the pips, which I am a fan of. Everybody knows that. Um, but yeah, very standard. Very typical uh, deck of cards here, other than the very shiny Ace of Spades. Um, so I'm going to go three. 
three out of five for that. Um, just because I know that they make cards to be played with and for magic, so keeping them standard makes sense. But when it comes to actual design of a deck, do something a little custom with the courts. That's all I'm asking. Okay, maybe maybe change some pips too. So three out of five for that. Uh, handling, it's Theory 11. It is a little thicker. I'm assuming it's bicycle stock. But, you know, I've been known to be wrong a lot. I also tend to ferro the wrong way the first time every time. But they do handle very well. Obviously, you know, they spread, they ferro, they dribble. Little, little stiff. I'm sure once they get broken in, they feel amazing. But I'm going to go four out of five just because they're a little on the stiff side for me. Um, but when it comes to doing any sort of magic, it's going to be perfectly fine. Now for practicality, heading right into that, definitely a five out of five because it is standard. Standard faces, you know what cards you have. If you want to do magic with it, um, this back design isn't going to be too distracting. It might even pop up some questions like, ooh, what deck is that? Or, you know, where'd you get that? And then you can kind of get into explaining your love of cards and your card collection. But yeah, it's a pretty practical deck. I really, really love this gold sheen. This is fantastic. I love it. So yeah, five out of five for practicality. Definitely a deck made for magicians, for the average card player. Theory 11 knows what they're doing, obviously, or else they wouldn't still be in business. There you have it, folks. My personal review of the Theory 11 Gold Artisan playing cards. Altogether, 22 out of 25 for these bad boys. Uh, again, I'm a huge fan of the Artisan decks. I wish <laughs> they would have done a little more um, customization mm. of the faces. But this metallic gold on the back is just beautiful. The artwork on the Artisans has always been beautiful. Theory 11 knows how to make a tuck case, which is fantastic. So, again, you guys have a chance to win this deck if you are trying to get a gold artisan and can't find one 35 likes on this video and uh we will give this one away also i do want to apologize i will be giving away the other decks from a couple weeks ago i have been really busy with work i've been working like six days a week i work almost 12 hours a day most days so bear with me i will choose winners i will send them out i'm only like a week or so behind um with these giveaways they are going to get out. Most people have already received their decks. But I will be giving them away. Don't fret there. Um, I have some free time coming up this weekend. So I'll be able to choose and mail some stuff out. So, rules for this description will be down um, in the description. Rules for this giveaway will be down in the description. Not rules for this description. That doesn't make sense. You tried. I did. I tried and I failed epically. Uh, he bubbled. I did. I rolled a natural one and just fumbled this entire roll. Speaking of, excellent segue. She's going to bring this in. Uh, we actually play Dungeons & Dragons every other weekend. Um, soon to be every weekend, just two different games. Uh, do you guys uh, play D&D? Have you ever played D&D? If so, uh, what was a character that is pretty memorable for you? One of my favorites, I played a Dwarven Warlock who was a pirate. And his name was Fwad. And his parents thought it spelt dwarf backwards, but they were dumb. Um, and he, Almost. yeah, he was he was pretty badass. I had to spell that out, so I feel kind of dumb. Pretty, yeah, pretty, I loved that character. He was, he was tough. He was slashing you with his battle axe or casting spells on you. Um, you actually just fell in love with your newest character that we made. Uh, for our newest campaign. Yay. So you you have two characters. Which one is more memorable for you? Amaji. <laughs> She's a tiefling warlock. There's a lot of backstory there. I'm not going to go into it. Yeah, a lot of backstory. So she's a tiefling warlock, and she actually loves this character a so lot. So obsessed. So obsessed with this character. When I have my little mini paint, I'll bring it into one of our next videos. Yeah. So if you guys have ever played Dungeons & Dragons, or any, any sort of fantasy role-playing, just uh, let us know down in the comments. Or if you did theater at any point in your life. I feel like that should be in there, because I was a theater freak in high school and a theater minor in college. Come on. Come to me, my theater people. You guys can all meet at Chili's. Uh, Not Chili's. Applebee's. Nobody meets at Chili's. 
uh, Chicka Bee High Meta Chilies. Yeah. So, Applebee's is disgusting. So. Applebee's is delicious. No, it isn't. You just like their you Jar of Broccoli there, stuff, too. Just because you work there doesn't I mean it's delicious. There. I was a server there. It's okay. delicious. Okay. So, triple chocolate meltdowns all the day. Let us know <laughs> if you have had uh, a D&D &D experience or any sort of fantasy role playing experience. Apparently, if you've been in theater and Come to me, my whether you nuts. like chilies or Applebee's, I guess. Uh, <laughs> no, nobody likes chilies. Chilies is better. Nobody likes chilies. So, <laughs> as we'll always, until next time. time.